Uh, welcome to part two, part two of angles and plane figures. Remember, we are dealing with KCSE mathematics questions that have come in the past. And therefore, we go straight away to part two, to part two. Number one, question number one. Question number one. We are saying, there is a question here, the interior angles of an octagon. Remember an octagon? How many sides does it have? Eight. The interior angles of an octagon are 2x, a half x, x plus 40 degrees, 110 degrees, 135 degrees, 160, uh, 2x plus 10, and 185 degrees. Find the value of x. Find the value of x. That is a question that came in 2013, uh, uh, 2019, and uh, it was carrying two marks. So, Lana, how do you go about this? The interior angles of an octagon are all these. These are eight angles. Find x. These interior angles add up to what, Lana? So, the first thing, remember what we see, that the sum of interior angles... The sum of interior angles of any polygon is given by 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees. So, what is the sum of interior angles of an octagon? In an octagon, our n is 8. And therefore, the sum of the interior angles of this polygon will be got by you talk of 2, where you have n, you fix 8, so 2 times 8 minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees. And therefore, Lana, you come and say, this is equals to 2 times 8 is 16 minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees. 16 minus 4, that is 12 times 90, which gives you 1080 degrees, 1080 degrees. So the sum of the, these interior angles of this octagon add up to 1080 degrees. So add all the angles then, 2x plus a half x plus a x plus 40 plus 110 plus 135 plus 135 plus 2x plus 10 degrees we can come down here plus 185 degrees all these eight angles add up to 1080 degrees 1080 degrees now bring the right terms together 2x uh, plus a half x, that is two and a half x, plus x, that is three and a half x, three and a half x plus two x, that is five and a half x, five and a half x. Plus what? Bring all these others together, all these other angles together. Bring all those other angles together. If you add them up, you should get 640 degrees, and therefore this should be equal to 1080 degrees. Okay, so take these to this side. So 5 and a half x should be equal to 1080 degrees. This becomes minus 640 degrees. So 5 and a half degrees, 5 and a half x, sorry, 5 and a half x should give you what? If you subtract that, Lana, you should get 440 degrees. So, what is your x? You can express this as improper. You can express it as improper. This times this is 10 plus 1, 11 over 2x is equals to 440 degrees. To get x, multiply with the reciprocal on both sides. The reciprocal is 2 over 11, 2 over 11 on this side. This will cancel out, that will cancel out, 
and therefore your eggs will be equal to what? Do the cancelling on this side by 11, 1, by 11, 4, 0, and therefore your x is 40 times 2, which is 80 degrees, 80 degrees. I hope you understand that. We go to question number 2. Now, we go to number two, Lana. Question number two. The sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is 24 times the size of the exterior angle. Find the number of sides of the polygon. Three marks. Name the polygon. One mark. It was in year 2015. So... Part A, or question A, find the number of sides of the polygon. Find the number of sides of the polygon. How do you go about that? You are told that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is 24 times the size of the exterior angle. Remember, Lana, we said that the sum of interior angles of the polygon is given by 2n minus 4. 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees. And therefore, in this case, the sum is 24 times. It is 24 times the size of the exterior. So it is 24 times the exterior angle. Lana. Multiply this out. You will get this times so that gives you 180n minus 360 degrees will give you 24. Express your exterior in terms of N. Remember what we said at the beginning in part 1. Exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees over N. 360 degrees over N. So, Lana, you continue and say this is 180N. 360 degrees is equal to what? Multiply this with a calculator, uh, 24 times 360 should give you 8,640 degrees over N. Okay? From there, remove this denominator N from here by multiplying everywhere with N, every term with N. Multiply here with N, multiply here with N, multiply there with N. And therefore, what do you get? This will give you, this is a name here, this will give you 180n squared. 180n squared minus 360 times n, 360n is equals to what? n on this side will cancel out. And therefore, you'll be left with 8,640 8, degrees. Bring this figure on this side. You get 180n squared minus 360n. Bring this on this side. You get 8,640. It becomes a minus. And therefore, you end up with that. Learn. This is a what? A quadratic equation. A quadratic equation. But it has big numbers. Try to make it simpler so that you can be able to solve. Suppose you divide every year by uh, this common number, 180. 180 to simplify all this. What would you get? You would get n squared minus, this divided by this would give you 2n minus what? You divide that, dividing that, you would get uh, 40 8 is equals to 0. So, Lana, you solve this quadratic equation using factor method that is product sum. In this case, what is our product? Our product is negative 48. And our sum is normally the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 2. From there, you go and look for the numbers that you add to get the numbers that you had to get negative 2 and you would try to get these. The numbers will be hold 6 and minus 8. 6 and minus 8. 
6 times minus 8. So the numbers are 6 and minus 8. If you added this, you'd get this. If you multiply this, you'd get negative 48. Yes, take this now and go and substitute in the middle term. Yes, you substitute uh, this uh, where you have the middle term. So this is n squared plus 6. And this will go together with n minus 8 together with n, minus 48 is equals to 0. Yes, go to the first two here, factor out n. And we'll be left with what n plus 6 here. And here you put this minus, here you factor out 8, here you'll be left with n, yes. Here you put a plus. Why a plus and not a negative? Because if you wanted to go backwards, you'd say minus times plus would give you this minus. So that is very important. There should be plus so that if you remove the bracket, you'd get a minus there. Minus what? This divided by this gives you 6 is equals to 0. And therefore, Lana, this is a common bracket again. Factor it out. So n plus 6, you factor out. And you'll be left with what here? N. N minus, what will you be left with here? 8. This 8 is equals to 0. And so from there, you say N plus 6, this one here, N plus 6, N plus 6 is equals to 0. Or either this other bracket is equals to 0. So what is your N here? Take plus 6 to this side. It becomes minus 6. So your n there is minus 6. Or what is your n here? Your n here, take minus 8 to this side, you get 8. Yes? So it means that the number of sides is either negative 6 or 8. Lana, we don't have a negative number of sides. So you cannot say that the, the sides are negative. The number of sides is 6. And so you ignore this one, ignore this one, and therefore your polygon will have, will have eight sides. Your polygon will have eight sides. So find the number of sides of the polygon. Find the number of sides of the polygons. It means that your n will be eight. Part B. Part B. Name the polygon. Name the polygon. So the polygon has eight sides. Lana, remember what we said in part one? What do you call a polygon with eight sides? A polygon with eight sides is called an octagon. An octagon. An octagon. Good. 